All right, guys, it's December 11, 2014. Right now, I'm doing some configuration with the circuitry board with the eManage. It's not plug and play out of the box. You do have to change these jumpers around from pin 1, 2 to 2, 3, depending on your configuration. So, here's the instruction manual. This does come in Japanese and English. Um, Jumper 1 through jumper number 6 are your ignition or your injector signals. So, factory, they're set to open. Next page over, uh, let's see, prior page. Here's all the factory settings for, if I can get the camera to focus here. Factory setting open, so 1, 2 for jumper 1 through 6 will be at only if it's one pin 1, 2. Pin 2, 3 is what it's on from factory, and that's for add and subtract fuel. So it says here to jumper will be configured in this output for channel 1. And then set to open when using injector adjustment mat to add and trim fuel and set to one two to add only. So jumper one through six are these jumpers here. It's these drivers for these drivers. So if we get this to work properly. Uh so each jumper is actually labeled. So jumper one, two, three, four, five, and six. And they're labeled actually down here in small lettering. Can't really see it with this camera. And then pin one would be over here and two and then two and three. So these are all set properly for what I'm doing. And then jumper seven is your ignition input signal. This is to configure whether you're using normal type, which is a pull down signal, which most cars are, and then Han does, or similar systems, which is a pull up, you use 2, 3. Jumper 7 is going to be this one here. It's already set to 1, 2, so I'm going to leave that one alone. And then your ignition output signal, basically 1, 2 for 5 volt, and then 2, 3 for 12 volt systems. And then it gives a little small explanation. I believe mine's a 5 volt, but I have to do more research on that. And then configure your airput, your uh, airflow device. I don't have airflow meters or a VTEC, I have a map sensor. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. If I need to, I can change it in the future. Um, then you have your option port. So pin 1, 2 for pressure or air fuel sensor. And then, or no, I'm sorry, 2, 3, which is open. And then 1, 2 for your Agretti temp sensor, basically. That's for both option 1 and 2. So jumper C. This just shows you where all the jumpers are. Uh, jumper 11 and 12 are going to be uh, these two. These two are going to be your jumper for 11 and 12. And then jumper 11 and 12 already set to open from factory. Uh, jumper 13 is going to be your NOx sensor or water temp or then jumper 14 NOx sensor 2 or intake temp. I'm going to set these up so I have a NOx sensor and a, an intake air temp. I don't really mind water temp because I already have a gauge factory in my cluster for water temp. So jumper 13 which is going to be this one as you see on the circuitry board. So 
So jumper 13. This jumper will configure pin 32 channel on the connector C. So there's three different connectors on this as you can see. There's about 32 pins each. Uh, set to open for normal type when used for knock sensor and then one two for pull up type for temp sensor. So I'm going to configure 13 to be knock sensor and then 14 I'm going to configure to be an intake temp. So 14 I'm going to set 1, 2 and 14 is already normally open but so I have to change 14. 14 is going to be this one here, the second one. This camera sucks. So basically, these are basically your jumper. It's just a small wire in it. It goes on like so. Okay. So 14, 1, 2, 4. 14 is open. Okay, so I've already configured it. So if it's a two pin and it's already open, you'll see there will be just one. I can get this in the light. You can just see there will be a pin and then the jumper's not completely connecting it. So to open, so pin thir so jumper 13 is already set. 14 I just set. 15 is your RPM signal, as you can see here, and this all this stuff is provided from Greddy. This is not stuff I just pulled up. This is all Greddy's stuff, as you can see. It's uh, RPM signal. This jumper configure that you get to recognize the vehicle's RPM signal. So basically, tax signal from uh, ECU is going to be pin one two, and then if you're going off the negative coil side. You'll use two, three. So jumper 15 is going to be this one. This one here. So I need one, two. Pin one, two. And jumper 15 is already one, two, as you can see. Okay, let's move on. So, 16 and 17 I will not be using. It's for frequency input, output, and VT, VTEC and VTM. If I need to, I will set those later if I need to expand. Uh, then you have another injector input, output jumper 18 this jumper configure the injector input output signal set to open when using injector adjustment to add and to trim and add fuel and then set one two so jumper 18 is already set to open and let's to confirm that jumper 18 is going to be this one here it's a two pin, it's already set to open. So I don't have to worry about that. So the bottom, next one down is a three pin. Okay, let's move on. Injector signal channel A. This is for sub injectors like A, B. So 19, 20, 21. They're 19 and 20 are the same. And then 21 is injector output. Input output channel one through six, basically the same thing as eighteen. Just got to remember which way you need to put it, because you need to set to one two using injector. Just match trim and add fuel, then set to open to add only. 
So let's check 21. 21. Uh, it doesn't list it on the chart. So let's find 21. And 21. Unless this is written wrong. Nope, 21. So 12, 10, 19, 19, 20. Mm, 21 is this very last one here. So it will be this one. Oh, there goes the book. So one, two. So we need to set it to one, two. So it's already set. Uh, let's go back and check. Set open when using channel B for the eighth injector signal for V8 or one two for a sub injector or for a relay. I'm gonna set channel or jumper 19 and 20. I'm gonna set them to one two so I can use a relay output form and configure that in the software. And that pretty much covers all the jumpers that I'll have to do. This just gives you an idea of what's going to go on with this and what you have to do. It's just not plug and play. You do have to switch things around. Um, that's pretty much it for this. Until next time.